Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Race Face Spotlight. Tonight, we're going to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Now, that's not where this young driver's from. He's from Pasagola, Mississippi, but we're going to Atlanta Motor Speedway, and I understand we're right outside of turn four, and we've got young 12-year-old, just turned 12 years old, Cole Denton. Cole, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good. We're uh, sitting over turn four at Atlanta Motor Speedway at the uh, condos. Well, I would have to say that in all of the interviews that I've ever done, this is probably the coolest one. Um, as far as the backdrop, I can see the speedway out the out your uh, out behind you. So that is awesome, man. How did you pull that off? Well, we've been staying here um, for every summer for the past three years at the condos. Um, at a turn four, but uh, we have it for these next couple weeks so we can go to Chris Motorsports Park. And uh, we were supposed to be going to Atlanta today, actually, but they canceled it. Oh, they did. Well, let's get right into this unbelievable, amazing season and this journey that you're on chasing a national championship. So, I'm just going to give a real quick recap here so that the viewers know exactly what you've pulled off this year. It started with the Winter Nationals. You're the champion from the Winter Nationals. You won the Spring Nationals. Then you won the Furious Five Championship, and that was at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Then you win Thursday Thunder Championship, which I know was a big deal for you because you've really been trying to chase that one. Um, so you got those four deals. Now, I'm going to give the statistics here. 30 wins, 12 seconds, two-thirds, only one-fourth. So one time that you've raced in 45 starts, you've not finished on the podium. Cole, can you summarize this amazing season that you're having? It, it's really been amazing. I mean, before, I'd have maybe 10 to 15 wins, but not 100-point wins. So... This is really amazing to be winning all these national events. And um, to win Thursday Thunder was the big deal that I've been dreaming for years to win Thursday Thunder. And I finally got it done this year. So it's been a really amazing season with only one non-podium finish. That That is amazing. Now, let's talk about the Thursday Thunder since you just kind of glow when you talk about that. I can remember you winning the, the first race on Thursday Thunder and, and us talking about, oh my gosh, I got a Thursday Thunder win, but then you go out and you win the whole deck on thing. Now, how cool is that? It was That was awesome. I was super excited to just get one win on the Thunder Ring, but to win four times and pull off the overall Thursday Thunder championship was, that was really amazing. So let me ask you, what what are you doing different this year that's making you so just a dominant force every time you show up? Well, really, the past few years I've been getting better, and me and my dad have been getting better at adjustments, and um, we've had some help learning, and I finally got to where I helped him make the adjustment to go out and do better, so... We've really been doing amazing on that, and uh, it's been making our car work really good so I can drive it the way I like it. Well, I'll tell you what. I think your dad should win, like, the national crew chief, father. You know, your mom is so involved with everything that's going on. The whole Denton family is into this, and, and it's just this amazing ride that you guys are on. Now, we're going to switch gears here real quickly, and we're going to talk about that you were featured on the front cover of a magazine, and it's called Today in Mississippi. Tell us real quick about that. Well, so we have these um, power companies that send out a magazine every month, and uh, they came down and wanted to make the feature of the magazine on me. So we went down to the beach park and took some pictures, and... Um, I was the centerfold of the magazine and the front cover. So that was really amazing. Um, there's a few power companies that come together to make this magazine, and uh, they did a really, really good job. Um, the Singen River Electric Power Company is the ones who did the whole thing, and uh, they did a fabulous job. 
Well, they did. And I, I appreciate that. I think they sent me like 150 copies of that. So oh, wow. I really, I'm just teasing. But I did get several copies of that. And and I, I'm, I'm actually having one of those framed so that you can go on the wall of fame back here. <laughs> You'll be my youngest wall of fame driver. So we don't have a whole lot of time left in this interview. So I want to talk about this national championship, what your insight is to that and what you've got to do so that when the season's over to be crowned the national champion. Well, really, I just have to get a top two at nationals and hope that my biggest competitors don't beat me. So I just I cannot afford to wreck out. I have to do I have to get a podium in order to keep defending and maybe win the national championship. So it's going to be really, really, really tough to uh, get it done. But hopefully we can. And um, the national event will be in a month from now. And at your favorite track, Atlanta. One of my favorite tracks. One of yes. your favorite tracks. Okay. Well, I think I think you've got a pretty good chance of winning that. So for those of you that want to stay up, keep up to speed with Cole, you go to ColeDentonRacing.com. You can follow him on Facebook at Cole Nation Racing. And Cole, we want to wish you good luck. I look forward to interviewing you in a couple of months and calling you the 2022 National Bandit Bandolero Champion. Cole, thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you. Well, that's it for this week's race space spotlight interview. So now back to the show.